Hey queens, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're doing this makeup look right here. I decided to bring it down a notch from all the crazy colors I've been doing the last few videos. Um, I didn't want to throw another crazy bam in your face color again, or makeup look to you guys again. So I decided to bring it down. Um, today I did a little soft corally look. Uh, if you guys are interested in seeing how I went ahead and created today's look, well, let's just get right into today's video. Welcome to my channel. I swear I'm wearing clothes. It doesn't look like I'm ever wearing clothes, but I am. Alright queens, so we're going to go ahead and start with our um, eyes really quickly. <sighs> I'm tired. Actually, yeah, we're going to do our eyes. Oh, what was that? That's gross. Ew, hold on. Um, because I literally just opened this and it's like all crusty and musty and gross. Okay, that was not cute. Okay, anywho, um, we're going in with our concealer to um, prime our lids. This is the e.l.f. concealer. Oh shit. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I need to get my life together. Okay, we're gonna pop this on the, the, the lids. The, I, the, the, what? <laughs> I'm gonna pop this onto my eyelids. Very quick. And for today's makeup look, it's gonna be very simple actually. It's not going to be crazy. It's gonna be this corally peach color. Corally peach? Yeah. Orly, orangey shade something more neutral not too crazy like my last look <laughs> my last two actually my last couple of looks so I'm gonna go in with my yes please palette by Colourpop this is very disgustingly dirty don't look at that and the inside looks like this the shadows are super cute super pigmented super adorbs I'm going to grab a little fluffy brush here. I'm grabbing this Morphe R40 brush. I'm going in with that yellow, um, which is Mischief, 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 however the hell you pronounce it. We're gonna, oh. it's right underneath me. We're grabbing that yellow and applying that to our crease. And uh, it's just gonna be a soft corally color look today. Nothing too out there, very neutral. Don't mind my watch. I know it goes off all the time. I'm sorry, you guys. I swear I don't have that many friends, but whenever I'm filming, it just happens that they all decide to text me. It's not a bad thing, it's a good thing, but. Okay, next up, um, I'm gonna just grab the same brush. I'm actually cleaning it off right here. Not really cleaning it, but wiping it off. And I'm gonna grab in this color right here. It's called Big Cocktails. So first, I went in with Mischief with the, holy shit, I cannot say it. I went in with Mischief, which is the yellow shade down here. I don't know why I couldn't say that. Now I'm going in with Big Cocktails, it's this terracotta orangey corally shade up here we're grabbing big cocktails same brush actually you know what we're just we need to clean brushes and I'm going to just blend that out starting in the outer corner and then just you know in a circular motion blending that in place and then with whatever is left on my brush, I'm going to just slowly blend it inwards. And there's really nothing much on my brush. It's just everything that is remaining on there. Going back in, same, same steps apply. Adding it to the outer and just circular motion and then slowly creating my crease right here. And I'm just blending this whatever's with whatever is left on my brush. Like that. Okay? Let me 
me do the other eye real quick and then we'll move on. Okay, there's that. Now I'm gonna grab this brush right here and this brush is kind of dirty but it's because I've used the same shade. And we're going in with Champs, which is the one right next to Big Cocktails. That one right there. I don't know if you can see me pointing at it, but that shade right there. We're going to pick that up with this flat brush. This is a BH Cosmetics 130 brush right here. And we're just going to go ahead and pop this on to the lid space. It's going to be a not really cut crease. And then with the same brush, I'm grabbing Full Zip, which is the other one, the other lightest shade right here, and doing the same thing. I don't even know what brush I grabbed it with. Just making it nice and corally. So that's what I'm doing. I'm mixing both of them together. And it's okay if it gets to the outer corner where you blended out that um, Big Cocktails or that orangey shade. We're going to go ahead and blend that out soon. So that's what I'm doing. And you guys, it doesn't have to be these exact palettes. Like you don't have to go out and buy the colors or the same palettes that I have. You can literally use whatever colors you have um, in your makeup kit. I'm just giving you guys the tips and tricks of how I do my own makeup. Again, it doesn't have to be the same palette. It doesn't have to be the exact same colors. It could be similar colors just with a different, you know, palette. Because in all reality, they could be the same. Okay, now we're going back in with Big Cocktails. Blending that out right here in a circular motion again. And just bringing it inward. Bringing that inward. I'm sorry if you can hear my TV. I know my TV is always in the background playing, but again, I apologize for that. I just, I'm home alone, so it's kind of scary for me at the moment. Like that. That's cute, right? That's cute. I think so. <laughs> me tuning my own horn. Okay, now. If I add this orange, it's going to make it more darker and I don't, I, I want that, but I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a, a liner brush. Let me grab one, find one actually real quickly. Give me a moment here. Let me grab my brushes out of here. But this, this is good. No, we'll use this one right here. Okay. So with this little brush right here, this is a liner brush, I'm going to grab French Kiss, which is that brown, and I'm going to create a wing or a line to my waterline as close as possible. Okay. It's not going to be like super, super shaped up, it's just to make something create that illusion that we have a wing going on if you want to clean it up you definitely can you don't have to okay so it's gonna look like that and we're just gonna kind of press on the right meaning of our lash line with that same, oh, I didn't even tell you the name of the, the the shadow. So it's French Kiss. It's the darkest brown in the palette. And I'm just lightly lining my lash line with that. And I'm creating my swing. I was going to say semi-wing, but it's kind of already a wing. Anyways, okay. So there's that. I'm going to go ahead and do the other one off camera, pop on some lashes, and then, yeah, I'll be back to finish off 
the rest of the eye look with you guys. So uh, my lashes are on. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face on camera with you guys really, really quickly. I'm grabbing my Pretty Fresh Hydrating Primer by ColourPop. Oh shoot, that was a lot. Um, like so. Applying this on our skin. like a bunch of <sighs> feels like a bunch of things on my face but it's not okay <sighs> like that so i'm going to go in with um setting spray really quickly something not too crazy this way my face looks fresh and put together like i really really tried when i really really did it Going in with this foundation, this is my favorite cream foundation. Um, I really enjoy this. This is the uh, Revo the Makeup Revolution Revolution Makeup Revolution London in F10 and in F8. This is a fast base stick foundation. So the F10 I put on the perimeters of my face and the F8 goes in the center. I'm going to blend this out with a little brush really quickly. I love this foundation because you don't have like, it doesn't take you forever to blend it out. It's so nice, like I really, really enjoy this um, cream foundation. I'm actually, um, looking for a powder foundation if you guys know of any good powder foundations please leave them in the comment section down below um, the reason is I want to since you know this whole thing of us wearing masks is now in play and I'm going to be returning to my job soon um, I don't want to be wearing you know a full face of expensive makeup or whatever I would just like to wear something nice okay so that's what I'm placing for concealer I'm gonna apply a little bit of the elf concealer this is a camel concealer just like so tapping that on running a little bit to my nose and my chin like I normally do same brush Blend this out ever so nicely But yeah, that's why I was wondering if you guys know of any good powdered foundations that I can utilize or I can try out to see if how they work for me and all that good stuff. Okay, that's nice and blended out. Um, normally I'm not, I would use a, what is it called? What is it called? A, uh, oh my god, I lost my tree. Normally, I would go in with a um, loose setting powder, but today we're going to go in with this compact setting powder. This is a NYX blotting powder in medium slash dark. Um, in no way, shape, or form is this medium to dark, but you know what? I'm very so lightly patting this into my skin. Not like crazy, just lately. Uh, I'm just pouncing that into my face. At this point, my face got matte, obviously, with the blotting powder, but that's okay. Okay, we're gonna go back in with my setting spray. Bring myself back to life. Dry this off. Okay. Uh, now, what are we going to do? Go in with our under eyes. Same palette right here. This bad boy. I'm grabbing this brush right here. This is a BH Cosmetics 104 brush. Um, it's a slented cut brush. I don't know how you call it. We're going to go in with Big Cocktails. Oh, it's this one. 
going in with big cocktails and we're gonna apply that to our bottom lash line. So let's go ahead and do that. And this one, I'm not really smoking it out as I normally would any other eyeshadow. I'm just, you know, filling this in nicely. Not making it. We're not making this under eye smoky. It's just adding that color down there like so so that is all i'm doing for my bottom lash line i'm going to grab a little um tiny brush like this one right here this is a little pencil brush this is a morphe pencil brush and i'm going to grab butter cake i guess we can do butter cake to make ourselves look more natural Oh shit, what does that have in here? I need that. Applying that to my inner corner. You know how we do that. Blend that in to both the up and down sections. Shadows, I guess they're called. Nothing too crazy. Like that, that looks nice. Okay, now we are going to move on to the rest of our face. Since I went ahead and did a gold um, shimmer in the inner corner, I'm gonna use a gold highlighter. I'm going to use this Maybelline Master Chrome highlighter. This is in uh, Molten Gold. I always have trouble opening this. I don't understand why, but without fail. so lightly we're packing that on we don't want a harsh blind look today why I don't know just more of a refresh face it's not like bam there you know we're going in with my NYX powdered blush this is in the color daydream going in with a stippling brush this is a luxie brush we're gonna go ahead and pounce that in this up here to my temples now we're gonna just blend that in adding this to underneath our nose and that's it going in with my elf bronzer this is forever sunkissed I'm grabbing this uh, bronzer brush right here this is another luxe brush we're just gonna go ahead and lightly bronze our skin up it doesn't look too harsh because it's not that harsh it's just very subtle and all that good stuff so there's that okay now we're done here we're gonna add some more setting spray The reason why I add so much setting spray is because I put so much powder on my face. I just want it to melt into my skin. So I don't look cakey or anything of that sort. Sometimes it doesn't work <laughs> in my favor because I still look cakey. Um, okay, I'm going to clean off my lips. Gross. Okay, now I'm going in with my new truffle lipstick. Oh, actually, we're going to go with chapstick real quick. I'm going to do the same lip combo that I did in the last video. Because I actually really liked it, except without the gloss. Going over a new truffle, lining our lips right here. I'm going in with this L'Oreal 
lipstick. This is called I Explore. It's called, it's called? The liquid lipstick shade is called I Explore. Again, I really love this. The formula is super, super thin. It feels like you're wearing nothing on your lips. It dries down matte. And honestly, I love it so, so much. This looks super weird right now, but there's that, you guys. Oh, my makeup looks really good. I look super like healthy. You know, like nothing is wrong with me. <laughs> but yes, that's it. My makeup look is completed. I went ahead and did a soft, fresh face, nothing too crazy, nothing too out there. Um, like my last videos, I wanted to bring you guys down a little bit with me. Um, so yeah, um, if you guys don't know, all of the products that I use in my videos, I always list them in the bottom section down below of the description box. Um, yeah, just in case you didn't know that, everything is always down there. All the products you use are always down there. But yes, queens, that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this soft makeup corally look I did today. Um, again, I try to keep it very minimal and not too crazy with my colors. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, share and subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment down below, uh, letting me know what video ideas you'd like to see next. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say, queens, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!